The State Board of Education was unmoved by pleas from parents and students to allow Kestrel Heights to keep its high school. This all stemmed from the Durham Charter School giving out 160 diplomas to students even though they hadn't earned them. Our Derek Lewis was there today when the board said its decision to scrap the high school is final. Today's board decision to go ahead and close Kestrel Heights' high school was unanimous. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Beginning July 1st, Kestrel Heights will become a K-8 school for three years. I was extremely surprised. James High has a son in ninth grade. Any time that you uproot a child from their school, I mean, it's going to be somewhat traumatic. An internal investigation found 160 students graduated from Kestrel Heights since 2008 without meeting the requirements to do so. The board made a decision to close the high school in March, but the school appealed that decision on Tuesday. Glenna Boston gave opening and closing statements during the appeal on behalf of the school. I do feel like on Tuesday was the first day we were finally heard, we were paid attention to, um, but I don't think it was the right decision. In addition to closing Kestrel Heights High, today the board members added that an auditor must overlook the K-8 school during the next three years. High doesn't believe parents and students were a priority in the decision. They may have had it somewhat in mind, I think, but if anybody's life is impacted like ours was, it was uh, pretty inconvenient to have to go and find an alternate school. Now he and hundreds of other parents must find different schools for their children. Students have the option to enroll in Durham Public Schools. Leaders here at this school say that other charter schools in the area have also reached out to see how they can help. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina. Hello.